Picture a busy restaurant. The waiter is juggling multiple orders, but somehow, he remembers them all. How is this possible? Welcome to the world of the Zygarnik effect, a psychological phenomenon where our brains are wired to remember incomplete or interrupted tasks more than those we have completed. Imagine your mind as a kind of mental sticky note board. Each unfinished task is a note stubbornly clinging on, refusing to be ignored. It's the reason that waiter can remember all those orders and why you might find it hard to relax until you finish that report for work or cleaned up the kitchen. But here's the real kicker. Once a task is completed, our brains tend to let it go, freeing up mental space for other things. It's why that same waiter can't remember what he served you once he's moved on to the next table. So how can we use this to our advantage? Enter the humble to-do list. By jotting down tasks, we give our brains permission to let go, safe in the knowledge that we have a reminder elsewhere. And there's nothing quite as satisfying as ticking off a task once it's completed, right? So next time you're overwhelmed, try making a list. You'll be surprised how satisfying it is to tick things off. Harness the power of the Zygarnik effect and turn it into a tool for productivity and peace of mind. Now, imagine two money managers, A and B. A seems to always have higher averages, but is A really better? Averages can be cunning little manipulators. They present a neat, tidy summary of information, but oh boy, do they love to leave out the juicy details. Consider our money managers, A and B. Manager A might boast higher average returns, but what if those averages are propped up by a few lucky windfalls while the rest of their portfolio languishes? Manager B, on the other hand, might show lower averages, but with steady, consistent gains. Who's the better manager now? You see, when we rely on averages alone, we risk falling for the illusion they create. They're like that friend who always seems to have it all together on social media, but in reality, well, you get the picture. So next time you're faced with averages, don't be shy. Knock on the door, peek behind the curtain, and dig a little deeper. Remember, averages only tell part of the story. Always dig deeper. Imagine a Nobel Prize-winning physicist and his chauffeur. They switch roles for a day, leading to an interesting lecture. The physicist, now in the back seat, smiles as his chauffeur, standing at the lectern, recites facts and figures with the eloquence of a seasoned pro. But when questions come, the chauffeur stumbles. Why? He has what we call chauffeur knowledge. Chauffeur knowledge is the superficial understanding of a topic, knowing the words, but not the music. It's like knowing how to drive a car without understanding how the engine works. It's the difference between memorizing and understanding, between reciting and discussing. Chauffeur knowledge might impress at first glance, but it falls short when depth and understanding are required. Just think about it. How often do we consume information without truly understanding it? We hear the words, we may even repeat them, but do we grasp their meaning? Do we understand the concepts, the ideas, the implications? Or are we merely chauffeurs driving around in a world of knowledge without understanding the mechanics beneath the surface? The truth is, real expertise goes beyond the surface. It delves into the depths, exploring, questioning, and understanding. It's not about knowing the most facts, but about understanding them, about seeing the connections, the nuances, the bigger picture. So next time you're learning something new, don't just memorize, understand. Dive deep, ask questions, explore, because true expertise isn't just knowing facts, it's understanding them. Consider a football match. A fan throws a cup of beer in excitement, but does this action really help his team? It's an amusing thought, isn't it? but it's a perfect example of action bias. This is the tendency we all have to feel compelled to take action, even when doing nothing might be the better choice. Imagine you're in a maze. There are two paths before you. Do you rush down one, or do you pause, study the layout, and then choose? Often, we feel the pressure to be seen doing something, anything, rather than seeming idle. This impulse can lead us into unnecessary trouble or missed opportunities. The key is to recognize these moments. When you feel that urge to act, take a breath. Consider your options. Ask yourself, is action truly necessary here? You might find that sometimes the best move is to hold your ground. Sometimes the best action is inaction. Pause, reflect, then decide. Visualize a person in a room full of like-minded friends. Does everyone really think the same? 
Welcome to the world of the false consensus effect. It's a psychological phenomenon where we tend to overestimate how much others agree with us. It's like living in an echo chamber where our own beliefs, ideas, and preferences reverberate back to us, creating an illusion that our thoughts are the norm. But here's the kicker. The world is far more diverse than our individual echo chambers suggest. People's beliefs and opinions are as varied as the colors of a rainbow. When we assume everyone thinks like us, we're not only incorrect, but also limit our growth and understanding of the world around us. Imagine how different our interactions would be if we approached them with the understanding that other people's perspectives might be vastly different from our own. It could lead to more open conversations, better relationships, and a richer understanding of the world around us. Let's take a step back from the echo chamber. Consider the possibility that our beliefs, as strongly as we might hold them, are not universally shared. Seek out diverse perspectives, listen with an open mind, and engage in meaningful dialogues. By doing so, we not only challenge the false consensus effect, but also enrich our worldview and understanding of others. Step out of your echo chamber, engage with diverse perspectives, and broaden your horizons. Picture a person judged purely on their appearance. What happens when their true qualities are revealed? This is where we encounter the halo effect, a psychological phenomenon where our perception of someone, often based on their appearance or a single trait, influences our overall impression of them. Imagine meeting someone who's strikingly attractive. Our brains, in a split second, might associate this attractiveness with other positive qualities, intelligence, kindness, or competence. This is the halo effect in action. It's like a spotlight, highlighting certain attributes while casting others into shadow. But here's the catch. The halo effect can distort our perception, leading us to overestimate or underestimate a person's true qualities. It's akin to trying to see a painting in a dimly lit room. We might catch the bright colors, but we miss out on the intricate details. So how do we navigate this? The key is awareness. Recognizing that our initial impressions can be skewed allows us to step back, reassess, and delve deeper. It's about challenging our first impressions and seeking a more complete picture. It's a bit like being a detective, peeling back the layers to uncover the truth that lies beneath the surface. It's about understanding that people, like books, have more to them than their covers. And so, the halo effect serves as a reminder. A reminder to look beyond appearances to discover the true essence of people and situations. Imagine wearing glasses that only let in information that aligns with your beliefs. Comfortable, right? But is it helpful? This is the essence of confirmation bias, a sneaky little psychological quirk that has us seeking out and favoring information that confirms our existing beliefs while ignoring or downplaying evidence that contradicts them. It's like being in a constant echo chamber where our own thoughts just keep bouncing back at us, unchallenged. But here's the catch. Growth and learning happen outside of our comfort zones. By only seeking confirmation of what we already believe, we limit our ability to truly understand and navigate the world around us. So, the next time you find yourself nodding in agreement with everything you read or hear, take a moment, ask yourself, am I seeking truth or am I just looking for validation? Challenge your views, seek contradicting evidence, and grow. We've unveiled seven psychological secrets. How will they change your life? From the Zagarnik Effect's simple trick of using lists to manage stress to the illusion of averages, reminding us that averages are just the beginning, not the end of understanding. We've explored chauffeur knowledge, showing us the importance of depth over eloquence and action bias, teaching us the power of reflection over hasty decisions. We've warned against the false consensus effect and the danger of echo chambers and revealed the halo effect's potential to cloud our judgment. We've also highlighted confirmation bias, encouraging you to challenge your beliefs and seek growth. These secrets aren't merely fascinating tidbits, they're powerful tools for transformation. Apply them to your life and marvel as your world changes within a week. Your journey begins now. Dive in, explore, and unlock the endless potential of your mind.